coming up the champagne pop it's my house come on hey guys so today's video is going to be a beauty con haul firstly my hair's in a bun which i never have in videos because it looks awful but kind of need to wash my hair and i haven't and i've got makeup on so for now it's in a bun but i'm so excited for this video in case you didn't know me and evie went to beauty con with the disney channel vlog which again if you didn't know is up every friday at 6 p.m we do loads of fun challenges diys a bunch of cool stuff over on the disney channel uk youtube channel which is always linked below and we were lucky 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 enough to get like talent or like backstage passes which was incredible like i've never experienced anything like that in my life before it was crazy and I bought a few things and we were lucky enough to be able to get a few things so I wanted to show you guys no way is this bragging at all at what I have bought or I was really 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 kindly gifted it's not that at all but last year because I didn't go I really wanted to see like what people got and I just think it'd be so so fun to show you guys so I hope you guys are excited for this also if you want to see the beautycon vlog I will link it to down below as soon as it goes up I've actually edited it already loads of viewers already it's so exciting and I just loved meeting you guys honestly you literally mean the world to me it was so crazy meeting so many of you and let's get started so I have this rather large beauty con bag and I also have a lime crime bag which I put everything in. So firstly I have this Real Techniques Bold Metals Collection Miracle Diamond Sponge. I only have the packaging, I believe like I was testing it out this morning, it's over there. But it's so exciting, like I've never seen this one before so I'm really excited to try this out even though it's not in there right now. <laughs> Soap and Glory had this really cool vending machine thing but I didn't actually manage to get anything because I'm stupid. <laughs> but they also had this gift set which is called pink pam this is retailed at 18 pounds and inside it has so many goodies it has a pink loofah the righteous butter which i love i mean all of this i'm pretty sure i already have i love soap and glory you have scrub of your life heal genius clean on me and the vitamin c facial wash which i wanted to try forever and there's hand food so this is an amazing set and of course it comes with this really cute like bag if you guys have been watching me for a while you will know that I'm obsessed with Nancy brushes. I have a few and I absolutely love them. So when I saw the Nancy stand I was just shook. Like I absolutely love them. So I went and had a chat and they very kindly gave me a few bits. So I have this amazing makeup bag. This is going to be so useful for travelling. Basically clear and I can't really show but it's like that. <laughs> and they also gave me a couple brushes. Flawless foundation which is FO2 and I already own this but like it's always helpful to own like a clean one for like blending. And they gave the blush and bronze and I absolutely love this. They also gave this beauty blender which again I used this morning because I already have one and use it religiously. Mine is so dirty and disgusting so this is actually it expanded and this is not expanded. I also received this notebook which says just wing it life eyeliner everything and it's so cute. From Ardell given some demi wispies and I actually have the wispies on right now so I absolutely love them. I've wanted to try them forever and when I saw that there were some in here I freaked. And there is the Ardell like brow pomade. Like this is my favourite thing probably from everything I got. I'm not even joking. The pomade is literally my perfect brow shade. It's in blonde and like look it's like the only eyebrow product that I've ever found that actually suits my eyebrows perfectly. At the end of the night I realised I hadn't bought very much so I decided to look at the Lime Crime like, counter. I picked up the Lime Crime Velveteens liquid lipstick in Sasha and oh, I actually have this on right now with something else on top which I will show you in a little bit. I love this. I actually decided to get my sister one as well and these are like £14 I believe I think. Again in the like backstage area they had these velveteen cement lipsticks and it's grey like I'm actually so excited to try this out I think this will look amazing like it just depends how you like do your makeup but this could look so cool I got quite a few things from NYX which I was so excited about because NYX is literally my favourite makeup brand at the moment so they had a set of these three soft matte lip creams which I love so we have Barcelona which is this gorgeous red Antwerp which is so pretty it's actually quite bright colour and then my favourite is Toulouse 
and the formula is so incredible and buttery and smooth. I somehow ended up with two of these NYX Beauty School Dropout 101 palettes, but they're different colours, which is very exciting. So this is in the shade Nude, and the colours are gorgeous. I want to swatch them. Like, are they pigmented or... Yeah, they're so nice. Oh my gosh. I actually was able to make my own palette and I made two because basically there was a bunch of eyeshadows out and I made a couple palettes and the workers were saying, you know, just take like as many as you want. So I went crazy. So I made these two palettes which I am obsessed with. Like, I made this one which is like a burgundy palette because I've been desperate to like work with some more burgundy colours because I want to get better at makeup like I saw everyone's makeup was insane at Beautycon and I felt bad about myself so I was like right Livy you need to work on your makeup skills so I got this one I actually can't remember the shade names I know that's so annoying I'm sorry the quality of these are definitely a lot better than the like beauty school dropout ones a more autumnal like bronze like like, look at them. Oh my gosh, they're so pigmented. And now I've got eyeshadow all over my hands. Speaking of eyeshadow, I have this collection Eyes Uncovered Nude Rose Palette. I actually already own one of these in like the shade Nude or something. Or, or like, sm I can't even remember. But I'm so excited because the quality is amazing and they're really pretty like rosy colours. I'm so excited. Then, also very exciting, collection have a new lip product called Velvet Kiss and it's a moisturising lip cream. There's kind of like their powder puff I forgot what they're called. You know the ones I mean. But literally, like, the colours are so pretty. So I have the shade Cotton Candy. This is one of my favourites as well. It's called Caramel. And, like, look at that colour. <gasps> This one is in the shade Mulberry instead of Mulberry. It's quite funny. Oh my gosh. It kind of reminds me of Rebel by MAC. And then this one is an insane like bright orange red called Mango. It's crazy. Oh my gosh. And the formula is so nice and smooth. I also got this Isla Brow Amplify in Blonde. And I tried it this morning. I absolutely love it. The shade is amazing. I also got the Pixi Glow Tonic To Go Exfoliating Toner Pads. Which I have wanted to try for Ever. And I used them last night. I absolutely loved them. From NYX, I forgot to show this, but this is epic. Like, oh my gosh. This is a selfie ring light. So it looks like this. It clips onto your phone like this. And then you just click it once. You can try three times for selfies. This was incredible. Oh, I forgot to show this. This is a Nanchi fan brush, which I tried this morning and am obsessed. It's incredible three morphe brushes which i've wanted to try morphe brushes for the longest time so i have i have the morphe e1 then i have the morphe e22 which is incredible for blending in the crease and then i have the morphe e4 a dry like banana powder is amazing with this and then this morphe palette which is crazy look at the colors in this but not only do they look incredible look at the pigmentation of the shadows just you guys wait that is incredible and i probably won't wear these on an everyday basis but for like themed parties and everything like that this will be incredible okay so we're drawing to the end i have two more products i have the so cool eye cream which is i actually used it this morning and it was so refreshing you basically just roll it under your eyes then i also have the super and glory is sexy mother pucker which i actually have on top of my velveteen lipstick this is an incredible shade it's so sparkly and i first i saw it and i was like hmm and then i used it and i was like it kind of reminds me of the lime crime they had like some crystallized lip gloss to go on top and it's like iridescent and it really reminds me of this and that is everything. I just want to say a huge thank you to you guys because without you, I wouldn't have the opportunity to go to BeautyCon. I wouldn't have the opportunity to meet all of you guys. I wouldn't have any of this without you. I'm so, so grateful. I cannot thank you enough. Please know that I'm not trying to brag about stuff I've bought or stuff I was really kind of given. I just want to like, you know, show the products because I absolutely love watching these tools. So I really hope you guys did too. And I was so overwhelmed. Like I didn't think I'd meet anyone. Like I'm not even joking and I met like so many of you guys so thank you so so much I'll see you very soon with a new video Bye.